My project here at City Fictions is called CV Dazzle, and this is a project that explores the potential for hair and makeup to be used as camouflage from face detection. The project was inspired by the aesthetics of people dressing up for parties, um, not most notably the boombox scene in London, and the kind of uh, um, facial obfuscations or masks and, and makeup that people were wearing then is what I use to um, carry out my initial research with this project for whether makeup and hair would actually work and I found through these club looks that some of them were already qualified as face uh, detection camouflage. So here also in the Anon Salon we're, we're mixing this club late night aesthetic with uh, daytime visibility and kind of finding a, a balance between those two. So on one hand, you're more noticeable to other people, but you're not noticeable to a computer. And that's the idea is that you can, you can split your, your perception for other people between humans and machines. And while humans can recognize you, that's okay. Maybe you want uh, machines to not be able to recognize you and you want to be in control of that. The CV Dazzle Anon Salon is set up um, as an open salon for the public to enter and receive a free counter surveillance makeover. The idea here, and this is the first time ever that we're doing this in a real public manner, is to give people um, the exposure to how face detection is working and what sorts of disguises, uh, like modifications using fashion, hair, and makeup are enough to overcome the algorithm so that you are not visible to a machine vision to a computer. The idea here really with this project is to figure out a better way to live in dense urban areas by understanding the surveillance architecture better. And part of that is looking at how algorithms work and being more comfortable in an algorithmic world. Another part of this project is just showing people how face detection works. And there are a lot of different algorithms. It's a business, so there's a lot of competition to make the best one. What I show people here on the computer is what it looks like, how the computer is looking at somebody which is a more analytical, statistical view, uh, showing the contours and the edges of the face, sometimes um, only the saturation of one color. For example, the histogram of skin feature detection. When you understand what a computer is looking for, then you know that if you can hide those features, then you can hide from the computer.